Uh, what I like to do today is uh, we will do few asanas, uh, which is combination of basic and intermediary, and then we will follow it with the pranayamas, and like to do mudras. with chanting Om, we will maintain a stillness. So I will try to guide you throughout the session and uh, let's begin our day now. You should be able to see you all and I hope you can all see me and hear me. Yeah, yeah, we can hear you, sir. Thank you. So, please, those who have not been following yoga session with me, maybe I recommend that you watch once and then second round onwards you can join because there are a few routines that I observe on every session. So, for instance, to start with, I like to maintain the stillness while standing with complete awareness and the affirmation of receiving a positive energy from Mother Earth by holding your arms, open your arms on your side, fingers pointing to your floor, do your mental affirmation of receiving a positive energy from Mother Earth. With that positive energy, you create a protective shield around you by moving your arms in a slow motion while inhaling chant ah and stretch your arms over your head. Arms to touch your ears and from the center of your being you chant oo and then you bow down to your master, your teacher, your deity or the the leader that you follow. So this is how it goes. Stand still. Realize that, that your body weight is, is equal on both legs. Realize that you are not wobbling. Compose yourself. You are here and now. Inhale. Uh, Two more time. Uh, Jump up, spread your legs. Inhale, both hands up. Exhale, swing your arms. One, two, three. Inhale, both arms up, look up. Exhale, swing your arms. One more time, inhale. And exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Bend your legs, place your palm on your knees, and do Adni Sakriya. Breathe out condition, flap your stomach muscles. Inhale, straighten up your legs. Exhale. Bend your legs. Once again, 
Inhale and exhale. And relax. Both legs together. <clears throat> Open your arms. Lift your arms on the side to the shoulder level and then stand on your toes. Stretch your arms over the head. See that your arms are touching your ears. Feel the stretching on your side. Feel the impact on your calf muscles. Your body weight is on your toes. And in breathe out condition, bring your arms down to your shoulder level and slow motion drop your heels and arms. Be aware of movement. Right, once again, inhale, inhale, and do your normal breathing. Breathing out. And relax. Let's do one last round. Once again. Breathing in, breathing in, breathing in, breathing in. Hold your posture for count of 11. Breathing out and relax. With legs together, lift your left leg up. Hold your left knee and make your toes pointed. Stay. Relax. Stand on your left leg. Lift your right leg up. Hold your right knee. Make your right toes pointed. And relax. Let's do one more round. Breathe out, breathe out, breathe out, breathe out. Breathe in, and the last one, breathe out, and breathe in, relax. Now, <clears throat> we open your legs, we breathe out and turn our upper body to the back. You have to look at the back while breathing out and breathe in, come forward, come in the center. You can watch once. So breathe out, breathe in. Your chin is down and you're looking at the opposite hill when you turn. Breathe out, breathe in. So I changed my position that you can see it in different angle. Breathe out. Breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe in. One more time. Breathe out. Breathe in. And breathe out. Breathe in. Relax. Legs together. Now inhale. Lift your both arms up. Palm facing sky or your ceiling. Breathing out. Stretch your arms. Stretch your back. And touch your toes. Breathe out. Look at your toes. Breathe in, lift your arms up. 
breathe out. Breathe in. I change my position that you have a other view. Breathe out. Deep in and relax. Try that your movement is slow, and the purpose of doing a slow motion is to bring your awareness to all your movements. Now open your legs. Open your arms on the side, breathe out, bring your right arm to the left foot and left hand up. Breathe in, come up, breathe out, left hand, swing it to the inside of the right foot. Breathe in. Let's do one more round. Each posture, try to hold it. Hold it for count of 11, if possible. Breathe in. And relax. Between two different asanas, take a pause. Have your eyes gently closed and watch your breath. Try to visualize what you have just done. Now, once again, open your arms on your side and then place your right hand behind the left foot. And left hand goes up. Breathe in, up. Breathe out, left hand goes behind the left foot. And right hand goes straight up. One more round. The last one. Jump. I like to do yoga, Surya Namaskar. Today is a very special day. We must offer our gratitude and salutation to the sun god so i will guide you through this i'm sure many of you are will be doing it but we will try to do with the chanting we should know the names of each asana of surya namaskar and the 12 different name of surya sun, sun god we will do three thank rounds. you very much so first legs together fold your hands fold your palms pranam mudra with your eyes closed try to visualize the sun have the feeling of gratitude the life giving force the energy that we get from sun so first pranam asana breathe in Hast Utada Siddha. Three, breathe out. Madhasta Nasana. Four, stretch your left leg back. Ashwasanchala Nasana. 
five kagai asana breathing out seven astanga asana breathing out next breathe in bhujanga asana next parvatasana breathe out next ashwasanchalana asana left leg forward next breathe out both legs together hastanasana sorry padhastanasana hast utanasana and pranamasana now we will do the same surya namaskar 12 different postures with 12 different name of sun is the bij mantra the basic chant the principal chanting Om Mitrai Namaha Om Ravai Namaha Om Suryai Namaha Om Anve Namaha Om Kagai Namaha Om Pushne Namaha Om Hiranyagarbhai Namaha Om Nityai Namaha Om Adityai Namaha Om Savitre Namaha Om Akai Namaha Om Bhaskarai Namaha Have your eyes gently closed Watch your breath We will do one last round And I'll give you the count and the breathing how you synchronize breath with each asana number 1 normal breathing 2 breathe in 3 breathe out 4 breathe in 5 breathe out six breathe out seven breathe in eight breathe out nine breathe in ten breathe out eleven breathe in 12 breath out and relax now we will do few asanas while sitting so please sit down stretch your legs in front keep your back upright throughout yoga session try to be relaxed have a smile on your face
Now spread your legs as much as you can. Feel the stretching on your hamstring inside your legs. Feel the stretch. Keep your back upright. Now, place your right elbow inside the right leg. Put your right palm under the right calf muscles. Take your left hand over the shoulder and head and touch your right toes. Look at your right toes, breathe out condition. Breathe in, up. And we repeat, left hand under the left leg, right hand over the shoulder and head, touching the left toes, looking at the left toes, stay there. Feel the stretching on your right side, and contrasting on your left side. Breathe in, up. We do one more round. Right elbow in front of right knee. Place your hand under the calf muscles. Left hand straight up. Do not allow your left shoulder to come in front. Keep it as back as possible. And over the head, touching your ears, touch your toes. If you can't touch your toes, never mind. Do as much you can. Hold your posture. Feel it. Breathe in, come back. And the last one. Left hand. And the left oh, leg, daddy. right hand goes over the right and stay up breathe in and relax now fold your legs so keep your left leg both legs stretched sorry let's keep the second asana Put your left leg behind the right thigh, right leg. Breathe out fully, pull your stomach muscles in. Hold your left knee with the right elbow. Hold your left ankle. Place your left hand behind you. And breathe out condition, turn back. Turn your upper body, try to look behind you. Breathe in, release your posture. I'll change my angle for your better view. So now I place my right hand leg behind, left leg, left elbow holding right knee, left hand holding the left, right ankle. Right hand and stay. Release. One more round. I once again change the other side. So, once again, left leg on the right side. Hold your left ankle and knee. Bring your left hand behind you as a support. Keep your back upright without condition. Look behind. Breathe in. Release. And the last one. I turn again. That you see the back. Now we place right. Leg behind the left, hold your right ankles and knees, place right hand behind you, and look back side. And release, relax. Now fold both legs. 
if you remember having seen video or photo of Mahatma Gandhi, he was very fond of sitting in this posture where you fold both legs on one side. So your right heel or right foot is under the left thigh. Left, left foot is behind me. Only thing is you ensure that your body is in the center, back upright. The reason why I'm telling you details is the yoga is having a right posture and awareness. So first get used to sitting in this, keep your body in the center. And now we have to breathe out and we bend our upper body, put your head down to the floor. So first one goes breathe out in the center, breathe in up, breathe out to my right side, to the right knee, breathe in up, breathe out to the right side, of the body, breathe in, breathe out to the right back side as much as back possible and breathe in and up and in the same steps you come back. So if you like, please watch once. Synchronize your breath, breathe out. Thumbs, try not to lift your hips. It is an asana to stretch your spinal cord. Now, turn slightly to your right, towards your right knee. Breathe it out. Breathe in. Breathe out to the right. Breathe in. Breathe out to the right back side. and take the same steps back. Now change the leg position. We do left leg, left under you right foot behind you, both knees in one line, body is in the center. For the count of three, just sit still in the center. And now breathe out in the front. Breathe in, turn slightly to your left knee, Breathe out. Breathe in. Left side, breathe out. Breathe in. Turn a little more to your left side. Your upper body turns maximum. Breathe in and the same fashion come back. And relax. Please remember that every asana that you do, be aware of every single movement. Essential is to be here and now. Feel the impact. Go to the job before we start pranayama is to Fold both legs again, put your right leg
हाफ नमस्कार और हाफ प्रणाम स्टे रिलीज नाउ चेंज योर लेग पोस्टर पुट योर लेफ्ट फुट अंडर यू राइट लेग ओवर इट इंपॉर्टेंट इज दैट बोथ नीज आर इन वन लाइन एंड एज क्लोज एज पॉसिबल द डिस्टेंस बिटवीन टू नीज Keep your back upright. Right hand in the center of your left hand around it. Half. Last enough. And release. Release. Sit. in a comfortable posture keep your back upright now with your eyes gently closed please start from the first asana that you did today with your eyes closed visualize yourself doing all different asanas so far bring your attention to what you have just done now sit in comfortable posture if possible in <coughs> sukhasana where you put your one leg above the other keep your back upright and we will start with a classical pranayam which is actually a cleansing process it is called kapalbhati as you all know which literally means brilliant skull or shining on the skull by doing this pranayama for over a period of time there is a natural brilliance natural light on your face and forehead and this is the indication of you being physically healthy all your <coughs> excuse me all your internal organs are functioning efficiently and thereby it keeps you healthy so it's a cleansing process where you breathe out forcefully one per second 60 per minute it is advised to do minimum 5 minutes but i try to do start with 5 minute in one go twice a day then go up to 10 minute twice a day and this one single pranayama which is a master pranayama brings about the experience that only you will know so let's start the mudra is gyan mudra the index finger tip of index index finger and thumb joined together three fingers together place them on your knee elbows touching side of your body keep your back upright relax your shoulders have a gentle smile on your face i will give you count for first 20 go with my count 60 per second sorry 20 per second 60 per minute we will do 5 minutes which means 300 counts you can do a mental count if you like to avoid other thoughts disturbing you and have your eyes gently closed here we go 1 2 continue
remember it is a forceful breathing out breathing in happens naturally while you're breathing out forcefully your stomach muscles moves inward and not upward so be aware of stomach muscles movement Any of you find it difficult if you develop uneasiness do not stop instead of one continue your practice continue your pranayama as much as you can manage but try that you are in a relaxed mode do not have stress This this pranayama activates your internal organs. It activates to perform at the efficient level. Your intestine, your kidney, your spleen, your pancreas, your heart, your liver, all internal organs gets energized and it functions at its most efficient level. And in order to have that, a minimum of five to 10 minutes of practice in each session, each sitting is required. If you are able to manage for five minutes, it is not difficult to stretch it to 10 minutes because beyond five minutes, it becomes the way the breathing in happens. It is the way the breathing out happens. So it is always the first milestone of five minutes that you have to work upon. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty, nineteen, eighteen, seventeen. 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1.
stop. Continue holding your eyes gently closed. Watch your breath. Feel the movement of energy. Feel the vibration. Now we will move on to the on each nostril. So you forcefully breathe out from alternate nostrils, for which you need to do a Chinmaya Mudra where you put your first two fingers at the base, hold them down with your thumb, operate with your ring finger and thumb. You need to breathe out forcefully left side and then right side and then left side and right side. So it's alternate. Breathing out forcefully. Like between two asanas, you take a pause between two pranayama as well. It is the time to go inward, to feel the movement of energy, to feel the vibration, to feel what you have just been doing. Now we will move on to Anulom below. Uh, those who can manage to sit in Vajrasan, come and sit in Vajrasan. <clears throat> Keep your back upright, drop your shoulders, relax your torso, relax your facial muscles, have a smile on your face. And before we start, I like you to check your breath. Place your left hand under the nostrils and check when you're breathing out. Are you breathing out only from your left nostril or right nostril? You would feel when you breathe out, either you're breathing out from your left or your right. Maybe you are breathing out equally from both nostrils. Be aware. Be aware of your breath out. Now, slightly bring your hand lower and feel the breathe out air. Are you feeling the exhalation? How deep you are breathing out? How forcefully you are breathing out? Having done that, be aware of it. Now we start with our Nadi Shodhana, which means you inhale long inhalation from left side and long exhalation from left side. We will do three time inhalation from left and three time exhalation from left. Then turn to your right nostril, three inhalation and three exhalation only from right nostril. Chinmaya Mudra once again, operate through the left thumb and the ring finger. So inhale from left, exhale from left. Thank you. 
Now close your left nostril with your ring finger. Inhale deeply from your right nostril and exhale deeply. Long inhalation. Long exhalation. Long inspiration. I have a tiger on my t-shirt. I have a tiger on my t-shirt. <laughs> Relax. Now we go to the second part of the uh, we do the second part of Pranalom Vilom, whereby we do the inhalation from left, exhalation from right immediately, then repeat inhalation from right, exhalation from left. All right, so keep your back upright, be aware, start. Do the inhalation for the count of 11 and exhalation for count of 11. Now those who can do a longer inhalation and longer exhalation, you can go up to count of 21. So your inhalation and exhalation count should remain equal. When you breathe out from your left nostril, you can stop the practice and sit still with your eyes gently closed. We move on to the next pranayam. We will do next one is to do the Ujjayi Pranayama. This is breathing in long inhalation by creating a sound on the base of your throat, your thyroid gland. When you inhale long inhalation by vibrating the gland here, and when you vibrate your thyroid gland at the base of your neck, it generates a sound. So try to watch once and then follow. So for this, we change the mudra to Adi Mudra. Thumb inside, four fingers on top. And now long inhalation by generating sound from your base of the throat. Mm. Mm. Long exhalation only from your left side. You may close your right nostril and breathe out only from the left. Once again, inhalation. Mm. 
Now for those who find it difficult, you may start with a short breath, whereby you inhale short, but generate the sound. It goes like this. So it is a short breath, but by vibrating your base of your thyroid gland. This is an excellent pranayam for those who have a problem with the thyroid or those who do not want any problem of thyroid. We will now move on to Brahmari, where you plug your ears, long inhalation, and while exhaling, have your jaws together, feel the vibration of jaws, feel the vibration moving upward, it right up to your Shrasara Chakra or Kran Chakra. It is a sound of humming of bees. Once again, Adi Mudra. And plug your ears. Last one. Hmm. Relax. Sit still. Now we will form a mudras, a simple basic mudras, and with each mudra we will chant Om. So sit in a cover right, and we start with the first mudra, Gyan mudra, which we have just done. Tip of your first finger and thumb, hold it. Chat home. Oh. Next, Chimaya Mudra, base of the first two fingers. The fingers for and chanting Om. Next, upon, upon mudra, the middle finger and the ring finger, the tip of middle finger and ring finger with tip of your thumb. Other two fingers up straight. Uh, Ayumudra, first finger, push it inward, hold it down, other three fingers straight. Vayumudra. Uh...
Now, combination of Apana Mudra with Vayu Mudra. So once again, push the first finger inward and second finger and ring finger, you touch with the tip of your thumb, the last finger straight up, Apana Vayu Mudra. Uh... Now, Prana Mudra, the last finger and the ring finger, tip of last finger and ring finger, other two fingers straight. Apana, sorry, Prana Mudra. Uh... Next, Sunya Mudra. Ring finger to the base of the finger, hold it down with the thumb. Sunya Mudra. Uh... Next, Surya Mudra, Sun. The middle finger, base, push it down to the base, other three fingers straight. Uh... Next, interlock your fingers, put your left thumb under the right thumb, the left thumb out, straighten up your arms, your left thumb is coming up under the right, Shiva Mudra. Uh, And the last, Pranam Mudra, press your palms, fingers, press it hard, hold it. Uh... Release your mudra. I like you to sit, maintain, observe the stillness. Sit in comfortable posture. Keep your back upright. Relax your body. Have comfortable posture. Maintain the stillness. Be aware of your breath. Accept the movement of your breath. There is no movement of your body. Complete physical stillness, which is the first step forward to bring the stillness in mind. So let's observe the stillness of our body for one minute.
Continue holding your eyes gently closed. Fold your arm, both hands in Namaste Mudra. Follow the prayer. Asatoma Satyamaya Tamasoma Tridamaya Mrityorma Amritamaya Thank you, God, for giving us air to breathe. Thank you, God, for giving us water to drink. If you wish, you can. Thank you so much.